we ended up getting uh, the Sega House Wrap, which is going to be um, a great product um, for the air barrier. There was quite a bit of more work than what I thought was going to go into it, which is to be expected when you're trying to do twice as good of a job, I guess. But um, yeah, it, there's a lot of little, you know, origami type stuff that was a little bit trickier than I guess I had hoped. But um, we're making our way through it and uh, it, uh, it's gonna be a great product when we're all said and done. So we did these window bucks here. Uh, the window buck is uh, two and a quarter inches deep. We've got inch and a half of foam, uh, Halo Xterra foam, and then uh, three quarters of an inch of rain screen. Um, so that when we end up putting the siding on, it's gonna be flush to here and we'll have window trim as well along here. Like I was saying earlier, the, the Sika family, I guess, of materials took quite a bit longer than I kind of expected, but it was our first time and I think we will only get faster through practice. And the air barrier is an important part of the, the building envelope. So we're excited that we were able to get the opportunity uh, to be able to do this on this project. And yeah, I'm happy with the way it's coming along. This is kind of how the, the finished window is. We had to detail this and then we install the window and then we tape that. So making sure that this is all continuous all the way through. You can see up at the top here but where we've taped that and that goes right onto the inside and then that will be attached to the vapor barrier eventually. For anybody who doesn't know what a window buck is, we've ended up attaching a two by material on here to build it out so that we could put the window on. Um, and we're gonna have our inch and a half of foam and then our rain screen built out to here so that our, our uh, window trim can come out and also then be uh, in the same plane so we can attach our side to that. So we had this huge gun that we ended up getting from Lance Bissett, which was awesome. And they supplied us with these nails as well so that we could shoot the window bucks on. We're going to also use these, these nails they're uh, a four and a half inch uh, galvanized spiral nail uh, that's gonna go through uh, the one by four, through our foam and, and then bury into our studs on the inside to hold up our uh, siding on the outside. And uh, yeah, it's a, it's a beast. It's got a handle on here that you can use. I don't, I don't know, you, you can use it without the handle, but I think if when we start doing the strapping, um, eventually your arm's gonna get pretty fatigued. You know, when we were doing the window box, we probably put between six and six and ten nails per window to hold the window buck in. Yeah, it, it, we were lucky that Lance Bissett was able to lend us the gun, and we were thankful for that. So you can see these little pieces of tape here that we put all over the place. When you're hammer tacking with the staples to the wall, sometimes it does a little bit of tearing. So you uh, have to tape these and every little hole adds up. So we're gonna spend probably another half day going around and making sure that the whole exterior is good and tight. And then uh, we'll be moving on to our next step.
walk by it. At Buck Robertson Contracting, we do contracting with communication. So if you'd like your house built with communication, call us today. Bye for now.